I mean, for context, you've you've done like over 400 double digit boulders. I was looking at it mm. a couple of oh, yeah, yeah, tons. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, like 148 <laughs> A's and you know a bunch of V13. So oh, half shit. of those are dinos. Yeah, like where are you finding all of these? That's the thing. I mean, a lot of them Rocklands. here. Yeah, Rocklands. <laughs> I, I think like last last season I had a um, like a tweaked finger, so I just went for dinos and compression lens, and then half of half of my climbs were FAs, and then half of those were dinos, and that was like 11 dinos or something. Um, and some of them were like really nice, good, like hard ones, like, uh, overpowered or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, um, I think it's definitely gone from like a, like play to your strengths and then just kind of like make your strength stronger, um, argument. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of when I traveled, I, I couldn't climb the grades I wanted to just cause I was not like either like technically proficient enough or I couldn't crimp well enough or something like that. Like it, like I think when the first time I hang water and then came back to Rocklands and I did all these crimpy lines that my friends had done like seasons prior and I'm like oh okay this is this is what you do for like to do these climbs and that was that worked out really well um but yeah like the like I've been to I think the only like font um eight days I've done are like the dinos there mm. and then I've done like the same I think my first trip to Waco I did um like I like specifically went on tour to do like well site dino and then now knowing as much as I do about climbing or climbing for like a lot longer and thinking about things a lot more through like um, either like my own climbing or coaching or whatever. Um, now I'm like starting to, to round it out and and it's like opening up way more with the dining, but I still find that like potentially it used to be like dining was like the best feeling I could get while climbing was doing a dino because there's something about like doing something that you don't know if you don't know it's possible and then you like stick it and there's a couple times where you like you like dunk a jug or like some hold and you're already like looking down uh, at your pads and you're like oh i'm still attached and then you get like the, the match and it's like i think that that feeling like that little dis disbelief is like what i was really drawn to mm -hmm. and then now i found that more and more with like like isolating like a small crimp and i'm like oh i'm doing this shoulder move that's really rad and like oh like oh i'm, I'm like still on a slab and it's like you know it's like not like number grade hard but like for me i'm like you know, like a V7 outside, I'm like, yeah, I'm killing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a lot of like that that feeling. And then I think here especially, it just lends itself to it. And I think I like the first trip I came here, basically all the hard climbs I did were dinos. And then the second trip, I kind of like got a little bit more and then I like it. And then it, I kind of ran out of the ones that were like easy to get to. And I think the Ethan knows this struggle with like trying to work out a crew to go out to like Encore or Double or Nothing or something like that, where it's like the, the next kind of level up it gets hard so i started looking more roadside and i started looking um basically closer to where i was staying just to because there's so much to look at here and i don't think anyone who comes one off is really ever looking for something because they just want to like go for that one line but if you're like lucky enough or um have the means or privilege enough to like come back here year after year then it's kind of like i think for me it was like a logical progression to be like okay what if we could just climb this thing and um, I think like the perfect boulder at power lines is like the perfect example of that, where you've got like an amazing line and then you've got a roof and then it's like, what about this one? What if we did this? And then you, you'd, every time you end up doing one or like trying one, it like feels as good. Hmm. And you get like the enjoyment of you doing, you seeing it, you doing it or not doing it. And then like now, especially this year, for some reason, like especially with the, um, uh, the kids or the freaks, like the, <laughs> um, the, the Northeast boys. And, yeah. Those, those, all those guys. And like they're doing like some of my like most low ball like they're like in object uh, aesthetically not the best but like really fun movement and you like top out at like chest height and they like they're like repeating those i find that really like fun and kind of like it's nice to see people just get enjoyment out of like climbing movement and i think that that's like the easiest thing um in climbing to like get that out of is like like dynamic is very black and white it's like oh you've got it or you don't have it and then when you have it you're like sick mm. like, and then for a lot of people it's like now where's the next one mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, at least it is for me what, where was your first or what was your first big dino project just in general um i think the first one that i remember seeing ever was like um well my first like v9 was a dino and it was like an eliminate of something else um and that kind of i guess and then i think the same with my first 11 was like just like a big dead pointy thing um, in sydney or in sydney yeah um so i started climbing in sydney and then i went to font i think and magic wood pretty soon after 
and it, that was like for um, uh, Rainbow Rocket, for sure. Um, and I th- did you have to step up on Rainbow Rocket? I stepped up. Yeah, yeah. I at that time I don't think my just like vert was that good, but I just like really liked Dynawing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and that was that was like that's as amazing as it is. And then like in font as well. Like if you're climbing in the kind of seven A plus to seven C range, there's like a bunch of just really really good quality climbing of all grades. But then especially of the dinos as well. And if you like go in the seven plus eight guidebook, um, and you don't look at like the climbs that are labeled as dino, but you go for the climbs that are labeled as morpho, you'll find like <laughs> really good compression lines and really good dinos. Like that's like, like La Puce was um, like quite a low ball dino, but it's like one of my first that I like went to the font the first time without, without a pad and I camped. And then I got like given someone like felt sorry for me and gave me a little like push bike. Um, and I like rode my bike like half an hour to get to La Puce and then I like was able to do it. And I came back and that was like my like, biggest achievement of like a you know one month two month trip or something I was like doing this one boulder and i came back and like just like to my little one man lie down tent which i didn't have a, a, a sleeping where did for. you camp where do people um, camp in font Le it's mm-hmm. like on the um like the western edge of the Topignon. Mm-hmm. so like all my climbing in font for like a long time was just like whatever's in walking distance so i never went to like Bacuvia. i went i didn't mm-hmm. go to like elephant or anything like that mm. for the first time I went there because I just didn't have the means. Mm-hmm. Um, and then at that time as well, just like not mm, savvy enough to like get a car or like even a SIM card. Um, <laughs> and you were just there. there by yourself. And I was there by myself. Wow. When, when yeah. was this? That's dedication. Uh, I think it was 2011. Okay. And then wow. I, met, I met some Germans and went to magic, end up going to magic wood to climb with them. And that was way better. Um, and there's like, um, like, one of the, I think the best climbs still for like variation, like uh, du, du Cote du Sejuan mm. um, on the side of Brewer and Block. Like, C plus, yeah. Yeah, and that has like everything. And then at the end is like a diner to lip. And it's like after you do a mantle with crimps and slopers and there's like no hand rest and all, like all of this stuff. Like, I don't know, just, ah, oh, still good. But yeah, um, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where was your first big dino? Um, is, is Rocklands, like, is there any other place like Rocklands in the sense of just being such a hot spot for for dinos like is it just there's so much rock here the rock doesn't form that many face holds mm. and it's just like perfect for dino it seems like there's more hard dinos here than like the rest of the bouldering world put together but it, maybe i just don't pay attention to dinos most of the time are there any other like hot spots for dinoing at, at this point in time i don't think so i think there's um the the closest thing for hard dinos or like the i think the country that has the most Hard dinos would be like Spain first mm. and then probably the States or it'd be, or it'd have to be font just from a, like a volume of rock standpoint. Mm. Um, but even, even font ones, I think they only go up to like 8A plus. Um, but Spain, we just got like a 8C, like V15. Mm.